Whether you're brand new here or you've been around for a little while, you've probably heard us talk about workflows. Workflow this, workflow that, workflows all day, every day. What can we say? We love them. But if you're not really sure what workflows are or you know what they are, but you haven't really gotten into them yet, you might have a lot of questions. Like what is a workflow? What are they used for? Why do I even need them in my business? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna go through today. Hey guys, Christy here from Dissolve Life and welcome back to our channel. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can make sure you stay up to date on all of the systems, automation and organization goodness. Okay, so before we dive into some workflow examples from my two favorite systems, let's just briefly go over what a workflow is and why they're useful. So what is a workflow? Workflows are repeatable steps and sequences to complete tasks and activities. So you're just looking at from start to finish, these are the things that we have to do to bring this project to completion. They also act as an outline for your team to follow every time they complete this process or task. They're created by listing the steps and items that you need to complete this entire process. They're repeatable, so you wanna make sure that you're giving all the instructions you need so it's consistent every single time. And typically they're linear, but most important, they focus on moving a task or a project from start to finish. Beyond organizing your business and managing your team, workflows are so important for many reasons like increasing productivity, having better team and client management, facilitating business growth, and making sure you elevate your client experience while also keeping your specific recipe and framework consistent. Okay, so now that we got the definitions out of the way, let's make it visual. I wanna show you how I map out workflows both in my project management tool, ClickUp, and my CRM HoneyBook. They're both considered workflows, but they function in very different ways. So starting with ClickUp, let's talk about mapping out projects that are one-off projects in a nice organized fashion. So this is our project workflow mapping template available in our shop and our membership. I'll make sure to link it in the description below if you literally want to plug and play this into your ClickUp right now. But just wanted to show you a couple things when it comes to mapping out workflows in this sort of fashion in ClickUp if you're looking at this from a holistic overview of one project. So here you can see we grouped this by phases, right? So we have four phases in this project. A note here and a little tip. How do we get it to look like this instead of it being grouped by status, which is the default? Well, we actually created a drop down custom field, called it phases, and then we grouped by that custom field phase. So that's how we got it, these tasks to nicely group into here so we can see these different phases sectioned out. Another cool thing here is we utilized milestones. So this again is just a marker both in list view, you can also see it in Gantt view. Wherever you see these diamonds, this is showing that it's a milestone within the project. How do you mark milestones? You just click on the three dots and you go to convert to and then mark as milestone. So here you'll see this is going from start to finish, right? We have the due dates, we have dependencies going. So if you're working with the team and someone's trying to mark this off as done, you're gonna get a warning, hey, you're actually waiting on these things, so you can't really do that. And so you'll see that this is mapped out in this linear fashion, like we had talked about earlier in the video. So the whole goal of mapping out this project in ClickUp is to really see this entire workflow from start to finish and track the progress of this project. So we have this list view. You can also see Gantt where you can visually see the dependencies. So task two can't be done unless task one is done and the kickoff call is done prior, et cetera, et cetera. So you can also remap these two in this Gantt view, which is really cool as well. Seeing how if one thing is getting delayed, it's gonna delay everything attached to it. So this is just a quick glance at our workflow mapping template. Some examples, see how you can see statuses as well. Where is this task in progression? What status is it in? 
for the entire project. And that is it for mapping out a project workflow in ClickUp. Okay, now that you got an idea of a workflow for a project, now let's talk about repeatable ongoing workflows for example, in content and marketing. So now we're taking a different approach to workflows and instead of looking at in phases, we're looking at each individual piece of content moving along a pipeline. So let's take a look at this Instagram list and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So before you saw that we used grouping to group the workflow by the custom field phase. Well, when it comes to Instagram management, there really aren't phases but instead there are statuses. So these tasks go from to create, in progress, ready for review, needs edits, ready to schedule, scheduled and published. And there are multiple things that we have to do and workflows to take a piece of content from just an idea into being published on our feed. There are different team members as well who are involved in creating our Instagram content. And we wanna make sure this workflow is streamlined so everyone knows what their job is, when things are due, who has to do what, and when things are moving along this pipeline, people are also getting notified and reassigned to those tasks. So just to show you here, we have, this is group by status. We have assignee and due date publish date and then the canva link for easy access while you are creating and reviewing the different pieces of content you can also see up here we have another list view grouped by month in case you want to look at the content for each month and where it is in progress in the status bar and then one other thing I want to show you as well is you can also view this in table view. I personally love viewing our Instagram content in table view. I feel like it's just very visually pleasing. I'm able to pop into the captions easily, see all the aesthetic of the images going out. And I just really love that. Then you can also have a publish calendar seeing, okay, where are the pieces of content getting published? and what are the statuses, and you can see that by it being color-coded by status. So another thing in this workflow is you wanna try, especially with ClickUp, there's so many things you can do to automate as much as possible. So we don't just say, okay, when it goes to ready for review, say Jeff was in charge of creating this, well now I'm gonna reassign it to Christy and tell her that I need it reviewed by tomorrow. Instead, we have ClickUp doing that work for us so nothing is slipping through the cracks. So one example of this automation is that when the status changes to ready for review, it's gonna reassign me with a due date of today. So if I click in edit, you'll see what this automation looks like on the inside when the status changes from any to ready for review reassign Christy and change the due date on trigger date. Now, one other thing I want to mention about automations here, you will see this as a two step automation. You cannot do anything more than single step automations on the ClickUp free plan, but we have a promo code for unlimited and business and all of the plans. Just use the code to Silva life to get a lifetime discount and you can have fancy things like two-step automations. So this is just an example here. You can see this workflow looks a little bit different. We're grouped by status. Each piece of content is its own individual thing that's happening here, almost like its own little mini project, whereas the other project was all of the projects tasks and you're managing it as a whole where this you're kind of taking it bringing it along a pipeline seeing where each person is at where each piece of content is at and you're easily able to manage this ongoing workflow so you can see by having these statuses and tasks and automations we're able to keep the whole team on track when it comes to managing our marketing platforms Okay, so we got project and task management. Now, what about client experience workflows? When it comes to booking clients, onboarding them, sending the emails, well, this is where HoneyBook comes in. Let me show you how we manage and create these workflows in HoneyBook to be able to automate the process of managing and onboarding and keeping our clients up to date. So this is an automation slash workflow in HoneyBook. 
and I'm super excited to show you how cool it is and all the different things that it can do. So this is a consulting session, strategy session, intensive, whatever you may call it, workflow that I would upload and attach to a project after I had gone out and sent the proposal. The reason being is this triggers immediately after the first payment is made. So in HoneyBook, you have your contracts, invoices, proposals, schedulers, questionnaires, brochures, all of that client experience stuff and templates. And then you can plug it into these workflows to automate your client experience, making sure that you're giving your client everything that they need, really nurturing them and reducing the admin work on your plate. Win-win if you ask me. So here we have immediately after the first payment is made, it's actually going to send them their consulting questionnaire with the email to book their session. And the scheduling link is hooked up here. So if I link this, open it in the new tab, you're going to be able to see my availability, book your call, get your questionnaire without me having to lift a finger. This is immediate satisfaction for the client as well, because they're getting everything that they need. So after that happens, that triggers. After that, it's going to have a task for me to put the session date into the project details section. So now the workflow and the automation can trigger according to the project date, which is wonderful. Also, after the questionnaire is submitted, just going to send them a thank you and a little bit of a hype up email. Then three days before the project date, it's going to trigger an email that's actually going to be approved before sending. That's an intensive pre-work reminder. So what I would do is quickly hop into their account, see if they had submitted their pre-work. If they had not, I would go ahead, approve and send this email. There's nothing that I have to template or make custom. And then if they had, I'll just go ahead and delete it. So it takes about 30 seconds, but I don't forget to send that out. And just in case it slipped through the cracks on their end, they'll have a nice reminder three days before the project. One day before, a task for me to send coffee money, just a nice little touch. After the call, there's gonna be an email waiting for me, thanking them for a great call linking their session recording, adding any personal details that I need to, and it'll be there waiting for me. 14 days after, it's going to send the happiness survey, checking in with them, and then 25 days after, it's going to send them that their support is ending in a few days. So you can see the power that once this is set up, after I set up my workflows, it's a matter of basically clicking approve and send or adding a few details here and there, but my client has everything they need. They have it on time and I get everything I need from the client as well, while also really being able to nurture them and elevate that client experience. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful for you and you were able to see the power of workflows, why they're important to map them out in your business, and how if you put the work up front to create them now it's just gonna make your life and your team's life so much easier down the line also i wanted to mention we actually have the ClickUp project workflow mapping template that i showed you in this video available in our shop we also have a automate your strategy sessions mini course you can use this for a standard CRM or you can use it to plug and play into HoneyBook, but it actually comes with so many resources on the email templates you need, different form examples, and then video instructions on how to plug them into HoneyBook. Literally giving you all the pieces you need to create a strategy session workflow within an hour. This was actually requested to us from one of our amazing members in system school, and we absolutely love being able to bring to life things that our members and our students request. So before we sign off, let me mention that both of these things are also included in our system school membership. You can check out more details about it at the link in the description below. And with that, I hope you learned some more about workflows today. We're able to see how we use them in our two favorite tools. And with that, thanks for watching.